Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Cubes Volume Template which is a smart notebook template designed to help you teach your students about volume using cubes. You can download the template here and when you do download the template it'll look like this. As you can see there's only two slides the first of which allows you to click a few times and type in your own heading and then click a few times and insert your own introduction or instructions. The second slide is where all the action happens. Now before putting any content on this slide it's preferable to make a clone of it. Right click and choose clone page or the shortcut control D. That way should you want to add another question you've always got a blank copy underneath. So let's go to slide 2 and type in our first question. We'll click a few times on the blue there and type in 1 and then click a few times on the black and type in a question. So we've typed in a question which refers to a shape below but we don't have a shape below. So let's make that shape below and we might use a couple cubes or we might use four actually I've got two here when you drag them down they're using the infinite cloner tool so you can drag down as many as you like if they're not exactly in place you can put them vaguely in place using your mouse but it's often best to after you've let go with your mouse just use your uh, arrow keys to um, to make those final touches. Now once you've got a couple cubes in place you can actually easily duplicate that by making a square with your mouse around the shape to select them and then cloning that. So right click and clone or of course just control D and using these you can make shapes as big as you like and I'll just put the final touches on that with my arrow keys all right and again I might clone this so I'll make a square around the shape and then press control D and then I'll move these up here and move them over a little bit with my mouse okay uh, another little tip if you want to move this around your slide is to group it so select all of the cubes in the shape right click and go down to where it says grouping and then group and you can see there that the shortcut for that is control G and then the advantage of that is you can move it all around the stage okay so now we've got the question referring to the shape below and here's our shape okay um, now you might want to duplicate that shape or clone it and where you're going to have your answer you might want to move these arrows down here to show how you get your answer and again these are all using the infinite cloner tool you can resize these arrows and I'm going to get one more and that way we're showing the three dimensions of this shape and this black line is where you can actually put in the sides length it's a text box this black line and so we can put in right if each uh, cube has sides of two centimeters what's the volume of the shape below so if each cube is two centimeters then it's this is two four four centimeters this is four centimeters and this is four centimeters okay and then you can type your answer in where it says insert answer here okay and 
I'm going to select that three and make sure that it's super scripted using that button up there. So now you can see that the volume is written and it looks the way it should. Now that I've finished, I'm going to cover up the answer with uh, the screen shade. And so you can read the question to your class, get them to have a look at the picture, and then scroll down and show them the answer. Okay. Uh, making use of the space that you've got, I might just say a final thing, you can resize these after you've grouped them if you want you can resize these things to to make them bigger but that's up to you i uh, hope that gives you a good indication of how you use this template and i hope it's useful thank you